We're singing this song, and um, this program. I know you know we don't entertain people. We are doing entertainment, but she gets <laughs> the testimony behind the song. This Okwe album. After I did a Joro, with Jafori Ire, so there was time to. It was time to do another album, and. Um, I wanted to be delivered from the shackles of Nigerian marketers. I wanted to do my work by myself. I wanted to finance it by myself. Oh, my husband and I. So when I say I, family one mozo. You know I'm the singer, they are not the people. But when I say I, I'm a family person, so I mean. I wanted to, Ejo Urok, Bejafori, Ire. Those albums sold. By the grace of God, my albums sell. But my life was not looking like it. And so, I became restless. And I'm saying this because of you, my kind, that could be here. So I got restless. And I looked like I was daring the status quo. And I said I wasn't going to do my work and let the marketer have all the rights. Because gift me now. They will now own all the rights. You don't even see the agreement I signed on AJO. I don't know. I can't remember the content till now. I can't even remember. It was not under duress, so but actually I don't know. They didn't even give me a copy. You know, if I didn't remember, I could just go back to the house, check the documents and remember. So I wanted to, to cut a long story short, I wanted to be delivered from it. And there was, of course, go see. Story, Paul. I'll be telling them in bits. I've told some in bits that you have heard. There are some people who have put their own too, you have heard. 
So I wanted to be, re- I mean, delivered. So my husband and I, we were praying. My husband can pray. <laughs> he can fast, oh. Hey. I'm the one that will say, Oh, Benny, I will eat it too. Oh, what shall I not eat too? What you Because we became restless. So I took a loan. And I made up my mind to work with Cobham's as well. And Cobham's used to charge $1,000 for one truck. That was about 160 dollars on 1000 then. And I wanted to do three trucks. Me. <laughs> From there to that very far. But I wanted to do it. And I took a loan. Of one point, can you call me Leon? I can't remember. And I did the work. What should I work with? Because alone, brother. Still, I will show I give the work. So the marketer I gave the work to messed me up. So the other marketer was making jest of me. But the kind of person I am, even if I'm down, I'm falling inside. You won't see it. We won't see it on my face. Except you are very close to me. You will not see it. So, we were in that season, and I went to one, oh, do me, pay and one, or walale. Something came up, and they couldn't come. So, I went to one program, and I met somebody. And she said, she was giving us opening speech for the program, and she said, oh, I can see you, shall I you bless my soul a lot. She was a first lady. So, for that kind of person to have told me that, it meant a lot to me. Yes, because I was... That time, I was looking for validation. I didn't have that confidence. I knew my world was being blessed. By, but there are some special people, like your husband, your father, your mother, some people, that will tell you some things, you will hold them dearly. So I just was like, ah, okay, what's your mommy? So when there was time, it was time for lunch, I'm going somewhere. So I went into the VIP lunch place. And the only seat that was remaining was the seat beside her and her husband. And inside me, I was, but I did big girl, like, uh-uh. I said, excuse me, ma'am, may I share this table with you? And they said, ah, why not? Yeah, so they cleared the seat for me. I sat. I was shaking inside, though, about me. I have to do big girl now. Protocol was there. I won't lock by, you know. I sat. So we were eating. And she told me, and she said, as we, as eating now, my husband asked me, what can we do for you? If my mouth was this wide then, I would have told them something very big. But that thing was very big to me then. So I told them that this album that is blessing you, that you say you like, she really loved, loves Isimi in the album. I took a loan for it and of course you know, a loan in 1.2 million to an average. They gave me the money. And I said to the loan, so that one gave me confidence. I need motibo, I no shaku. So when you hear me say motibo, motibo, I know what I am saying. That's just one of the motibos. <laughs> so that was how. So every time I sing this song, I remember. If not for God that brought those people my way, it would have brought someone else if they didn't do it. But God is the center of this testimony. And God has you in mind. It does not matter. It doesn't matter what the people say. It doesn't matter what their eyes do see. God, you are so good. You are exalted. You're the Lord most high. And am I telling you that is the reason why God is good? No. Whether it happened or it didn't happen, God is still good and He will always be good. And you know what happens to me when I'm in challenges? I always pray. Whatever comes my way. And I have had testimonies of being helped. So, whatever. God is there. Just go back and pour your heart to him in your own words. You don't need to consult a dictionary to speak to your father. 
in your own words, whether you are Kaloloin, God is spirit, and those who worship Him, worship Him in spirit and in truth. I want to sing. One sing near me at your title. Hallelujah. Offer out of us. 